We've written a lot in the last couple of weeks about the theory of event endpoint management. For example, we've discussed the benefits to your organisation of documenting and socialising your Kafka topics. We've described what we think event endpoint management should include and uh, talked about how we see it fitting in in the broader picture of API management. But for today, instead of talking about theory, we wanted to show you what it looks like in practice. So for the purposes of this demo, imagine that I'm a developer who's written an application that is capturing weather data and it's producing a, a stream of events about weather data to a Kafka topic. And I think that Kafka topic will be useful to other developers in my organization. So I want to document and socialize the Kafka topic that I've got. So I'm going to show you how I do that in Cloud Pack for integration, um, starting in the API manager. So this is API manager. Um, now I'm going to be creating a new asynchronous API. So I'm going to start by clicking on the develop APIs button down here. As you can see, my organization already has a large number of APIs, um, some REST APIs, some asynchronous APIs based on Kafka topics. But I'm going to be adding a new one today. So I'm going to start up here with this Add button and go to Add Async API from my Kafka topic. This wizard is going to ask me for the minimum information I need to be able to describe my Kafka topic. I need to give it a title. So I'm going to call it uh, Storm Sensors. I need to give it a version number. I'm going to leave it as version one because this is my first release. Now I can provide a lot more background. I can give it a one line summary, a more detailed description, but rather than make you watch me type in documentation, I'm going to skip that for now. I do need to say where my Kafka cluster is, but I've got that information here from my application. So I'll just copy that and paste it in there. I could provide more background, uh, more detail about how uh, my Kafka cluster is configured for authentication, but again, in the interest of time, I'm going to skip that. I need to say the name of my Kafka topic, but that's okay. I've got that here. So I'll copy that and paste it in there. Now, like a lot of applications in the Kafka ecosystem, my application is using Apache Avro as a mechanism for serializing the data to the topic. Um, so I already have a schema that my application is using. So I can just take this Avro schema and drop it in here as a definition of what the messages on my topic looks like. Uh, and that is enough to get started. Um, now I've created the, the basics for my new API. Now in this editor, I could provide lots more detail. You know, I could actually fill out this summary and description with background and context and explain what this Kafka topic is for and how people could use the events on the topic. I could provide contact details. So any developer who tries to get started with it and needs some extra help or has questions, uh, they know how to contact me. I could fill out other sections. You know, I could describe how the security is configured. I could describe more than just the message body. I could describe things like the message headers um, if I'm putting interesting headers on, on the messages on the topic. Um, but like I say, rather than make you watch me enter documentation, just assume that I could go through the editor and, and really describe in detail uh, that is available. But for now, I'm going to publish this as is by clicking on this menu here and going to publish. So we share APIs in products and a product is just a logical grouping of related APIs. Um, for this one, I'm just going to create a new product for uh, that I'm going to put all my weather APIs in. So I'm going to call this one weather and hit next. Um, now that I've created my product, I need to publish it to a catalog. So um, I've already got my catalog ready, so I'm just going to click Publish. And that is all I need to do. I've now made my Kafka topic available. I've described it and uh, socialized it for other developers in my organization to discover. So I'm going to switch tack now. Uh, and now imagine that I'm a developer in the organization looking to write an application. Um, so I'm going to go to the developer portal to discover what APIs are available to me. Uh, and I'll find them, as I was mentioning before, grouped into products. Now you can see that product I, I created earlier, the weather one with the storm sensors API in. As you saw, I didn't put much detail in there, so I won't go into that one for now. I'll go into one of these ones that are a bit more detailed. So let's try this retail product over here. In this product, I find a variety of APIs available for me to use in my application. Some are Kafka topics, some are REST APIs, and you know others could be you know other types of API like GraphQL and so on. 
Um, but I'm going to I'm talking about async APIs for today. So um, let's go into this one here. This is uh, a stream of events about stock level events in the warehouses. And when I click into that, um, I find the information that the owner of the topic has written. So I, I find things like the fact that this is a, a Kafka uh, protocol stream of events. I get the documentation they wrote, you know, with any formatting they added. I get information about where the Kafka cluster is, so I know how to connect to it. I can see the contact details I was mentioning earlier. And here are all the Kafka topics that they've shared. For each topic, I have the name of the topic, some more background about it. I get all the sample code I need to help me get started. Um, so that, you know, if I'm writing a new application, I can be productive as quickly as possible with some initial boilerplate code. Um, and as well as that, there's also detailed documentation about the, the messages on the topic. So I can see, you know, what all of the different fields uh, in the message are, which ones are required, which are optional, the data types, a description of what they're for, and so on. Uh, and I can see some examples of what a message will look like um, so that I know roughly what to expect in my application. So that's what we mean by um, discovery in event endpoint management. The ability for an owner of an application that is producing Kafka messages to easily describe, document, and, and share that Kafka topic where it can be discovered alongside all the other APIs uh, in the organization by developers. And then in the developer portal, a way for developers to discover that that Kafka topic is available to them with all the information, documentation, and snippets to help them get started as quickly as possible.